Greetings, everybody out there in internet land. My name is Troy Bernier, and this is the Miami International Science Fiction Film Festival. And today we have a sci-fi comedy, which we totally love. And it's coming to us all the way from Malaysia, far, far away across many oceans and passing many clouds. And it comes to us, and we're so thrilled and excited to see this wonderful, exciting film. It's called Super Duper Ultra Radical Sci-Fi Club. And today we have us, with us Mr. Ken Ken Choi and Brooklyn Murphy is here. Oh, here's Brooklyn. How you doing, Brooklyn? Everybody in sci-fi land. It's good to see you. Good to, good see, to see you. Good to see you too. Here oh, in God. Miami, Florida, gearing up for the big festival this weekend. We are so yes. excited also yes, to have yes, yes. the super duper radical sci-fi club filmmaker with us tonight from Malaysia. Yes, here he is, Mr. Ken Choi. Here Choy. he Hi, is, Mr. Ken Choi. Hi, Ken. Hi. Hi, my name is Ken. Yeah, I'm the director of this film. And you did a very great pronunciation of the title, by the way. <laughs> the super duper radical sci-fi club. That's how it awesome, needs awesome, to be pronounced, awesome, right? Awesome, awesome. Yeah, that's so, how it needs to be pronounced. Yes, absolutely. So, so let's talk about you. Who are you? What is your uh, professional background? Oh, uh, my name is Ken and I am now a student in uh, Taylor's University in Malaysia, and I am studying digital media production, so I'm still a student. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, this, this movie is very much like a homemade movie that I did with all my friends. Like, mm -hmm. there's no studio, there's no budget or anything. We just like, went out and we shot the whole thing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow. wow. That's, that's one thing special about wow. the festival. We, we yeah. have, you know, a, what we call a, a zero budget category, which it's kind of like how you know we got started, you know, as sci-fi filmmakers, yeah, uh, yeah. with longevity, and uh, there was a tiny budget for Planeta Desconocido, <laughs> you know, and um, you know, so we totally respect um, good story, and that's what yeah, it really comes story, down to. Fun you got story. a good story, you yeah. could be using cardboard and and tin foil, you know, aluminum foil, and <laughs> you have a great Perhaps, story. Yeah. Um, you have a chance to get into that yeah. category. It's a very small category, but we like yeah. to give people a chance, and that's one thing. That's one of the things that separates VC3 from all the rest. Yeah. So, so Ken, t tell us what is this film about, in your words? Well, this film is about three childhood friends who start a science fiction club, and most of the time they spend it like watching science fiction movies until one day they actually find themselves in like, an actual science fiction situation when they receive a letter from an unknown person leading to a secret that that would have the answers to every question in a universe apparently yeah <laughs> mm, i want to want a copy of that letter oh man that's a good one and, and what inspired you to make this film what inspired the the concept the idea what inspired me was i wanted to make a film that had a spielbergian sense of wonder and especially with et is a huge inspiration for this movie Mm -hmm. And also like other Steven Spielberg films in the eighties, because I wanted to like recreate that sense of wonder when you when you watch a Spielberg movie for the first time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm -hmm. obviously your inspiration is Spielberg because I know there was a little part in the movie where she's crying and they're watching ET on the couch and she's yeah. like, <laughs> she puts her finger up. I love the the actors were so she was so cute. The that main <laughs> actress that you have, I, I loved her. And, and how did you go about producing it? Well, um, since this movie was homemade, so a lot of times we like, try to find things that are just lying around that we can just use in a film. But uh, when it comes to like things like the costumes, because they're very specific. So we pretty much just like uh, collected everybody's like savings and then we just spend it all on the costume <laughs> yeah oh man you put it in one big pile i love yeah, it put it in one big pile <laughs> i love it and I, and I love that you made a lot of references to other movies like dude where's my car yeah yeah, yeah i picked up on <laughs> that and, uh, yeah, yeah well i saw that i love that movie um so so how do you hope that your film influences 
your audience? How do you want it to impact this young generation, especially in Malaysia? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I feel like the best movies, oftentimes their message is simply like just go out and make a movie. It's, mm-hmm. it's what you feel when you watch a great movie. It makes you want to make movies. Yes. And I feel like that's what I hope my movie can do because there's a lot of like movie references in it and stuff like that mm-hmm. that I think I hope hopefully can inspire like a new generation of filmmakers to go out and make like whatever kind of movie that they want to make. Yeah, that's my mm-hmm. hope. And this is your first film? Yeah, this is my, my first movie. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's that's great. That is great. Uh, Troy, I know you well, have some questions. Well, um, so this film being at uh, MCP, how, how did you find us? How did you find MCP? Yeah, yeah uh, I, I just saw it on Film Freeway, and I, I, I totally appreciate the uh, film festival that celebrates the science fiction genre. Because awesome. this is very much like a very science fiction kind of science fiction movie. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. Time travel, clones, everything. Yeah. 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 You had it all in there. You had time travel. Yeah. You had um, the. <laughs> I love the father at the end with the axe when they're doing the, the uh, tribute to uh, Karate Kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a no? tribute to Karate Kid. Paint left, paint right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can we? Can we show? Can, can we, we show the show? trailer? Yeah, can we show the trailer? Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, okay. Let's bring it cool. Up. Radio chat. This is Casey speaking. Time is 9 a.m. I'm on my way to the Super Duper Ultra Radical Sci-Fi Club. Over and out. <laughs> so that was that was filmed so, at the actress' so, house. So the lead, oh, okay. the lead, yeah. <laughs> her name is Jia Hui. Yeah, Jia Hui. She's funny. She's she, funny. He was, was a trick. Those yeah. pink slippers and the, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh yeah, that, that was very much like we drew like a sketch for every character, so they would have a specific yeah. look. Yeah, and then the the pink slippers was what we like. We needed it. We needed the pink slippers. So it, it's perfect. Like you had just all these little teeny, just it just, it's so unique. It, it was so unique. It's hard to believe that was your first film. What is your next film? Are you gonna no, shoot another nice. film? Or are you gonna? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna shoot another film. Um, I'm writing a lot of scripts now, and okay. yeah, I'm thinking of moving into a, a horror film next. My, mm-hmm. my next script is a horror film. But I also have like other science fiction ideas I'll probably do right after the horror film. Sci-fi, sci-fi. Okay, good. Yeah, good. yeah. I'm thinking so, of making and, aliens. Okay, good, good. Has the film been in in any other festivals yet, or or is this the first one? What what's what's going on with it? This is the first one, actually. Yeah. So. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. Awesome. 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 And, and where did you shoot it? Like in your neighborhood? Like what city do you live in? What area of Malaysia are you in? I'm I'm in like a small like residential area called Klang. So like it's it's just a lot of houses. There's not much there. So um, we filmed it at like the actress's house. We filmed it at my house, and there's one sequence where they all go on like a journey to find the treasure. For that one, we we drove to the beach. It took like a two two hours, and we drove to the wow. beach to shoot that. Wow. Yeah, it must be very beautiful there in Malaysia. Oh, I know. Yeah, it yeah, it, it's, it's very beautiful. Yeah, but then we are like wearing masks and like chasing each other around there. Do you have any favorite parts of the film that you unexpected it, I, moments I, or something memorable that you really liked? I think my favorite part is is when like 
the multiverse characters come out for the first time. Oh my goodness. Because yeah, that part was like so so complicated to shoot. Cause because like we, we had the actress playing like different versions of that character, talking to herself. And then yeah, we, we used like the the producers and the other actors as like models to just stand there for her to act with herself. Yeah. So so that part wow. was very complicated. We pulled it off and we are very proud of it. Yeah. And all these actors are also students in with you at the yeah. university. Yeah, uh, these these actors they are not students at my university, but they are like my high school friends. And we shot this movie like over the gap between high school and university. Okay. We didn't want to waste that gap between. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And how how long did it take you to shoot? Uh, it took six months, and we shot over weekends. Yeah, because everyone wow. was busy Monday wow. to Friday. Wow. 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 That that's, that's awesome. Dedication. Well, you, but you can tell. You can tell a lot went into into producing that. You know, a lot of dialogue, mm -hmm. a lot of story, mm -hmm. different scenes, different so many different scenes in the film. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, that's that's fantastic. I'm looking here where Clang is located. Clang is right outside of uh, uh, the big city, Kuala Lumpur. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but we, we didn't step into Kuala Lumpur for this. Yeah, unfortunately, it, Kuala Lumpur is very beautiful. Mm. Wow, that's amazing. That's that's truly amazing. That's a very far away. You're you're like that's really far, man. Wow, it's it's you're about an hour flight, two hour flight from Singapore. Yeah, yeah, two hour flight oh, from one of the flights from Singapore. That's that gives you an idea where it is. It's that far, that far away. Wow. Is movie. is there a lot of sci-fi fans where you live? I don't, I don't think so. In? No, okay. <laughs> not really. Just because, like, um, I pitched this to a studio once. I had a chance to pitch it, mm -hmm. and and they were like, "Okay, this is too complicated for the Malaysian <laughs> audience." Wow. And then, yeah, they wanted to like, ch change it to like a, a romance film, and then I just like ran away. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not changing it to a romance film. No, 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 no. That's not going to happen. Wow. wow. So you are a real pioneer over there. Holy smokes. Yeah, I think yeah. so. <laughs> yeah. So brave of you. Well, who, when you were growing up, who was like your favorite filmmaker? What kind of movies would you watch? Uh, I think my favorite filmmaker is Tarantino. And mm. I think, like, in certain aspects, it's obvious with like all the references and stuff. Because I feel like for me, my approach is always when I want to make a movie about science fiction, then it's like I watch a lot of science fiction movies and I take out all the parts that I like and I put them all together in a pot. And that's like, I think, a similar approach to Tarantino when he makes movies. It's right. like a right. celebration mm -hmm. and tribute to other movies. Yeah, wow. I really never thought about that way. That's true. Because wow. I love Tarantino yeah. films. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but I feel like being in Malaysia also like brings a different culture to me. So I so I have things like things in there like there's a kung fu scene, and mm -hmm. that that one was like very much inspired by a lot of the kung fu films. I couldn't even name them, but my grandfather used to watch a lot of kung fu films because as a Chinese, mm -hmm. my grand my grandfather loves kung fu movies. Of course, so I just inserted yeah. that in there. Yeah, because that's like how I grew up. Yeah, that's awesome. Bruce Lee that's awesome. fan. That's so cool. Bruce Lee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I, I used to watch Bruce Lee fans. How, um, how, so, how common how common is English in Malaysia? Because your English is, is very, it's very perfect. It's better than many Americans. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> Guess yeah. my my father works in a company that has a lot of international clients. So mm -hmm. my English is my like my second first language. I learned English and Chinese at the same time as a kid growing up. Oh, wow. Good. Good. That's yeah, awesome. yeah, that's fine. And also, it also helps that I watch like, a lot of English movies. That's neat. What, speaking of that, what, have, what are some of your favorite films that you've watched this year? Well, my, my favorite films that I watched uh, in, in 2023 was I really liked um, I really like Asteroid City, like the new Wes Anderson films, because, mm -hmm. because, yeah, because I really gravitate towards like auteur kind of films, mm -hmm. like films by Wes Anderson, like Asteroid City. I think it's like a very neat 
cross between like science fiction and also like an existential drama art house yeah. movie at the same time. Yeah. So yeah, yeah Asteroid City yeah. was great and They Clone Tyron was great. Oh, the, the Netflix yeah. science fiction movie. Oh. You, yeah. like, you like that, huh? Yeah. Ah. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that movie is a trip. That's a really good film. Really yeah, good also like, I think very interesting, uh, like it's very interesting science fiction because it also borrows elements from like black exploitation films mm -hmm. and action films. And it's also like social commentary on like black culture as well. I think there's a, a lot of elements that you can borrow from like other genres or from life, from society and put them into science fiction. It's, mm -hmm. it's actually like a very vast genre, yeah, with a lot of things to explore. Ken, uh, you are... You Ken, have a you, very wide, yes, interesting I'm, range of film. I, like, yeah, how I'm, old are you? Yeah, exactly. How, yeah, how old are you? <laughs> how old are you? Uh, I am 21. Oh, he's young. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, you, you're, you're, you're very well studied. Yes, You're very, very well studied. Thanks. Very Congratulations. eclectic taste. Tell, tell you. your dad and your mom and your grandparents. That we very said well so. Studied. Yeah, we said <laughs> very well studied. <laughs> You're going to go far, my my friend. You are going yes. to go far. Yeah. You know, like, like watching movies is the best way to learn about it. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So are you a Star Trek fan or a Star Wars fan? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I He's thinking. Think He's I'm thinking. still He's a Star thing. Wars. Oh, yeah, Star I think Wars I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Star Wars because uh, okay. like Star Wars just appeals to like the, the most primal human instinct of like shoot shoot bang bang lightsabers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe I'm hearing this. Wow. That's this, true. Yeah, this is this yeah, is nothing Star Wars fans that. Too. Yeah, nothing replaces that feeling of like seeing like spaceships flying around, people like swinging their lightsabers around. Yeah, th oh. that one's just a rush. It's, it's just just a rush. It is a rush. Yeah. See, Troy is a big Star Trek fan. I'm a Star Wars uh, fan. No, I, I, I'm, I'm oh, both. You're I'm both. both. Yeah, I'm both. Okay. Well, yesterday he was wearing a Star Trek shirt. And he does own a Captain Kirk uniform. I have to say. So. What I love about Star Trek is like they have like so many different styles of stories that different filmmakers could put into a Star Trek universe. Yeah, it, it, it feels very diverse. I will say that, yeah. yeah, yeah. Which yeah. is how it seems like that's the way you're going to go with your filmmaking, very diverse. Yeah. Since you mentioned yeah. you want to do a horror film next. Yeah. No, yeah, I want to do a horror film next, yeah. Okay. That's really good, Ken. Really yeah. good, man. You, awesome. uh, you surprised us today. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Misi Fee is full of surprises. This is fantastic. Yeah, well, listen, um, is there anything else you'd like to add? Mm, not much, I think. I think everything I want to say, I already said it in my movies. That's okay. going to be my Os Oscar acceptance speech. I'm just going to say everything I said, I already said it in my movies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, love it. Okay. Oh, love it. Okay. Well, listen. Well, when, that, um, when your horror film comes out, we would love to see it. Yeah. And um, with the virtual festival, make sure you sign up to the panels when they are requested. We're going to put out another request um, early next week for the uh, panels. The panels will probably be over the weekend, not this weekend, but the following weekend. So I hope you can join at least one of them. I think you would make a really, really good contribution, mm -hmm. in particular to the one called um, uh, The Enlightenment. Uh, along the Silk Road, because um, you know we have so many new films. We have so many films from countries that are not recognized at making science fiction. Yeah. So Malaysia, we've got Kazakhstan, we got Armenia yeah. this year, uh, Colombia, Turkey. Turkey. You know. Mm -hmm. So it'd be great if you could be on the panel and give us your your insights. It'd be highly yeah. valuable. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah, we would love it. All right. All right, Sashe, thank you. Sashe, I'm giving you the. Yes, thank you very much. Thank, thank you, very you, much. you very much. Live long and prosper. <laughs> <laughs> live, live, live long and prosper. All, All right, right. Ken. Okay. Thank you so much. We're honored to have you here at MCP. Thank you for choosing my film. Thank you. All right, now, see. You. Don't don't go away. Be right back.